it's Maya and Shayna. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. So tonight we are finally giving you another Tipsy, tipsy in, in love. love. We know we said that we do these every month and it's been two. But we were busy and stuff, you know, so. <laughs> we're giving tea now, you know. Um, so yeah, the topic tonight is going to be, we have two topics. The first one is feeling like your queer relationship isn't enough slash celebrated enough slash treated the same as a straight relationship and the second topic is right person wrong time do we think that's a thing or not but yeah so we're just gonna get straight into it and we hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah. follow us on all platforms by the name Maya X Shana. yeah Make sure you subscribe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just share the video. Bye. Just to make sure that we actually get tipsy, because I always, I always say, and I'm like, I've never felt we get that drunk in our videos. Yeah. So we're gonna well, ensure we get there this time. So what are we doing? So we're chugging this. We're bottoms up in this glass. Bottoms up in it. <laughs> yes. So just Bye. chugging it. What's going on? Let's put lip gloss on so I don't want to like swallow my lip gloss, you know what I mean? Whatever girl, I just stove it in my cheeks first. I don't swallow it so it all goes down. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be starting off today with feeling less than in a queer relationship. Yes. Yeah, and what made us come up with this topic is just like personal situations that we've had, like stuff that is like happened to us or not happened to us but you know just like things we've noticed like mm -hmm. being in a queer relationship so mm -hmm. I've noticed being in a queer relationship as opposed to being in a straight relationship what's that? I thought you were starting with the Galavante and um I don't know where to start to be honest mm. I would say um the reason why I said like feeling like queer relationship isn't enough it's just because obviously we can like Obviously, mostly what we see in media is straight relationships, but also like for the most for the most of us, probably like our, in our families, we might be the only gay, or we might be like one out of two or something. There's never like loads. rarely there's, there's ever like a family full of gays, you know, um, unless like, you're raised no. by two mums or two dads. Uh, but even then, child, the family still might not be full of gays. I guess obviously, like you can bring this back to like growing up. As for me, growing up, and like my mum would tell me, oh, she wants me to marry a black man. <laughs> she wants, she can't wait till I have, like, not she can't wait, but oh, like when I have a husband. Da, 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 da. So obviously, like, being in a queer relationship, I don't have like a man, I don't have a girlfriend, but all my family has been expecting my whole life is for me to end up with a boyfriend. So then, just that alone, it doesn't feel like enough. It's still good, but it's not, it's, but you just know that it's not what your parents had in mind for you and yeah. even though that doesn't mean that it's like not better it's still like you know that it's can still be d disappointing yeah yeah because they, be they had like they had different expectations in their head. You. yeah they had different ideas yeah. for you and what you were gonna do and you having your own kids of a natural way but even then like you can still have fertility issues when you go try to have kids or i don't know he might have issues or there might be issues yeah and i wish people would take that into consideration or, because right? like honestly like people would be like oh it's not natural to have kids that way but then there's women who can't have kids so you're saying so that you're, she's not a real yeah. woman because she can't have kids and then that gets into trans rights and be like what so you're only consider you're the main idea of femininity and being a woman is around being able to reproduce when it's not mm. it's not my whole identity mm. if, if your whole identity is a woman and that's you but don't assume that it's every woman's identity mm. is to be a mother and have and kids. And they literally do not, just do not want to have kids. Anyways, this is getting on a different topic, but... It's getting on a different topic. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like even from experiences that I've had, say like a family member would refer to us as like friends or someone's little friend or not really say and acknowledge what we are to each other, which is... Yeah, and like it even make when you, you introduce the yourself yeah. sometimes to when we introduce ourselves sometimes like mm -hmm. if we're around family or sometimes even if we're around people that we don't really know that well, we uh, me I speak for myself, I will feel a bit um weird sometimes saying oh this is my girlfriend or oh this is my fiance. Yeah. I'll just be like oh this is Shayna. 
because you don't know how people are going to react. You don't. And like, even that alone, it's like, how can I feel comfortable introducing my fiance mm -hmm. as my fiance? She's my whole fiance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, just yeah. things like that. And also, I noticed, like, say if we're like around, I mentioned before, being around family, and mm -hmm. like, there was an instance, and like, one of my aunts, one of my aunties, she brought her like, boyfriend around who she just started seeing and I just noticed like just the way people would interact with them be like oh oh my god you're so cute together oh my god and like I it just, just would feel normal. like mm, people don't really do that for us you know mm. don't really it ask wasn't us questions much, about our uh, relationship there wasn't as much of a genuine interest to the in-depth mm -hmm. questions of our relationship it was more it could be it could have mm. It kind of felt more like they were just like, oh, we don't want you to feel, and we want you to know that you're accepted, which is very different than taking a genuine interest in the relationship. Yeah, it's, it's kind like, of like treating it different. Yeah, like, even like, yeah, like, you're not really asking me about the relationship as it just being a relationship. It has yeah. to be a queer relationship. Yeah, but, you said but, you know, lesbians, but you, you know? know that we accept you, like, no matter what it is, like, <laughs> even if she was this, even if she was purple. It's like, yeah, but I mean, if I do feel like, like, even when you were saying it then, I do feel like people, we did still get that, but because it has been a little while since we were a new, like, new couple, we may yeah. not, not have gotten that, because I mean, I remember your first, not big family party, but when I met, like, more your dad's side and, like, other parts of, like, your grandma's side of the family that I hadn't really met before, they were giving that. Really? Yeah, they were like, oh, you guys are so beautiful together, oh. Yeah. yeah I'm not so. saying, maybe I do just forget, because it is, Yeah, um, but it just, it just can now. be perceived differently when you know that you are different yeah so you're just like a re like hyper aware of everyone yeah and i don't know if anyone else um gets this but like we've mentioned a few times that this is both man and shane is like first proper relationship with another woman yeah um so and like i've dated we've both dated men before this <laughs> and so, so like <laughs> So, like, in my head sometimes, like, I will, like, and this is just based off, like, other people's perceptions, what I've came to learn from the world and stuff, I'll just sometimes feel like the relationship doesn't feel real, just because I feel like I'm, it's, I don't know, it's supposed to look a certain way, mm. and because it doesn't look that way, then... Or because we don't operate that way. Yeah. Like, we, like you know what I mean? I feel like... I feel like, because we always, we always reference it to straight couples because that's the norm, you know what I mean? We're the, yeah. we're the other, they're the norm. I feel like straight couples are encouraged to kiss a lot more than queer couples, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, give her a kiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, give her a kiss, you know what I mean? That doesn't really happen with, I haven't seen that happen really with any gay relationship. Um, but I do get what you mean, because like... Affection is encouraged yeah. for straight couples, whereas, whereas I feel like, like for gay people, it's just always been a thing. It's like, wrong. You, like, this could put us in danger, and I mean, still, till now, it could oh, put it's us in wrong, danger. because guys, yeah. they'll be banning us in school, they'll be banning the topics of gay relationships you can't mention you have schools. a wife you can't mention so you have a husband, like we so. just see it as being wrong it's, exactly. we see so it as feel something wrong. that people don't want to see so you do view it as just wrong and then in within that you probably view your, your you relationship as kind of like wrong because like it doesn't seem normal because it's internalized yeah, yeah. like you're internalizing all the stuff that like everyone has said so far and still do say about like queer people queer relationships and such so you it's really hard to completely unlearn that when you don't know how people in public are going to react yeah you can't that's sometimes true. we don't i don't want to say we don't have the privilege but sometimes we don't especially as black queer women we don't have the privilege to just be able to be as openly affectionate wherever whenever I mean, yeah, that shouldn't stop us because we shouldn't feel like we have to hold back, but I do sometimes. Yeah, definitely. And even we, ha I don't even think we've come across or like Any people like have that. said anything to no, us when we've been just... affecting it. It's just a feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's just something we have to unlearn. And it is our job to unlearn because honestly, we can blame it on the world and it is the world's fault. Mm -hmm. But we, we can do also have choose to, how we yeah, react. Yeah, we can choose how we react and we can. Like, you just have to unlearn, you have to unlearn everything. And honestly, like, I've chose, we've both chosen to be in a lesbian relationship. And, and marriage, no. And marriage, yeah. And so I, I do feel know. like when we are, like, Maybe. even though I definitely feel like, I feel like we are, like, in a strong relationship, a strong, mm -hmm. healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. But just sometimes in my mind, I feel like it's just like, not taking it seriously. It's not taking it because everyone else doesn't really take it seriously. Not not because of the label though, 
just because of like the fact that it's two girls like we are, we are surrounded by straight couples mm. and we're surrounded and like by straight people and all my friends date guys they always want to speak to me about guys and stuff literally saying that that's why i feel like sometimes our relationship is less than because mm. we're surrounded by the norm mm. and we don't really have people around us that are in lesbian relationships mm -hmm. and people around us that are in gay relationships mm -hmm. so we don't see that so it's hard for us to like compare our relationships to say our friends who are in straight relationships and automatically get viewed as more important because they're in a straight relationship mm -hmm. whereas like we're a lot stronger in the relationship but still it's, like, oh, it's well, lesbian so it doesn't really mean as much you guys you know? are just friends that you know kiss every now and again you know what i mean and that might just be our assumptions and what we think what we're projecting yeah but we're i'm so but... yeah but i believe that and if you if you do feel this way i do believe that there is probably a lot of like people in queer relationships that feel that way so you know if you want to share your opinions in the comments share it so we don't feel alone in this <laughs> how do you feel personally about what like don't know what yeah. i just feel like i don't i've never been I haven't brought like girl or guy I haven't really brought anyone around my, my friends and family that I've been like proud to have around so I haven't really wanted to be like oh this is my you know my person I just love you so much until like meeting Maya so it wasn't really anything I can even compare it to to be like to really tell that like if the people in my it's life take it differently. yeah if it's perceived differently hey guys I feel like I was slightly going off topic and didn't really get my point across but I was trying to say that my queer relationship feels like it's less than because I have multiple barriers and blockers in my mind that make me rethink or reconsider how I should show affection to my partner, whether that's to do with my own personal issues with being uncomfortable with intimacy. But I feel like it is a harder comparison for me because I've only brought one person home before Maya. But I did notice some differences with how we were presented and described to other people. I was saying to, me, to Maya the other day, I was like, remember, we gave each other nicknames that we literally have never called each other out loud. <laughs> Because we were uncomfortable with calling, just calling each other babe and baby. It was like, Ugh, yeah, Ugh. guys. <clears throat> just made us feel we like We were so cringe. uncomfortable with that at the mm -hmm. beginning. And we still kind of are. We're just kind of like, with it now, we're though. definitely better with it. But yeah. that's like with time. Yeah. And just like kind of trying to force it. Because yeah. like, honestly, like. <laughs> like, why don't you call me babe? Like, why yeah. you call me my name? Like, we'll say words like any day. Like, we go sit here and like list what we love each other like down and do all stuff like that. Yeah. But like. I don't know, is it typical soppy shit being like, oh babe, you're my world. I don't even know. <laughs> my life I'd... long. Oh. Um, but yeah, we don't really say that stuff like that, but we have started like trying to call each other babe and like baby and stuff and like trying to be a bit more cute because I mean, I don't know, like obviously I do, I really love my name, so I don't really mind if she yeah. calls me my name. So <laughs> like, everyone calls me my name. You don't have anything special for me. Yeah, that's true. It feels like we should have something that's just like for us. us. Yeah. But you know, soon we'll be Mrs. and Mrs. I'll yes. be like, my wife. My wife. Wifey. My wife. Oh. My wife. The next topic is right person, wrong time. I personally feel like this is a thing. Um, I do really? feel like, Yeah. Mm. I do feel like it is a thing. I don't know. It's weird. Because I feel like it is a thing and I feel like it's not. Right. So I feel like it is a thing, but there's also... <laughs> Yeah. Why are you drinking like chips? No. Yeah, but I don't want to throw up. It's not so weird. All right. Uh, right. So I feel like it is a thing because I feel like the circumstances can be wrong for like a person that seems really much right for you. But how how are they right for you then? Can I get resistance before you come with your butts and you double I took a pause and I took advantage of the pause. All right, Dory. Right, Kyle. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> but you can be a right person, wrong time because say if you were dating when I don't know when things were going right in your life, things were going all left and shit, and you weren't able to even focus on your relationship being healthy, being productive, being loving, you're not even in the right mindset. Then you need to take take time to be by yourself and sort your life out or sort yourself out to actually be ready for the right person. But it was the wrong time because you were not ready for the right person. Do you know what I mean? I understand your prior, but. But I don't believe in the right person one time <laughs> just because I think that me and you have mm. both not been ready for this relationship in this relationship. And I believe if it was the right person, they'd be ready to 
take on the baggage and grow with you like we have done mm. like I don't feel like it's a, there's ever a wrong time. Why would why would there be a wrong time? Just get in the relationship and like. But what if you can't? What if like there are, there are so many factors to why people don't get in relationships or why relationships don't work out? Well, like, then that is not the right person. What if? It, why not though? What if you feel like because it's, if it's, it's meant right to person? be, then it's meant to be. And sometimes but what if people can meant, feel like it's the right it's person meant to and be it turns in a out time and place where it's it's not even allowed to be, huh? You know, when I would believe in right person, wrong time is if. You met a person and it, I don't know, circumstances made it so you couldn't be together, but eventually later in life, yeah. you met that person again yeah. and you were ready to be together. Is that not what I said? Although, no, you didn't mention ever meeting the person again well, back that's in what life. I, if, you, if you didn't, let, let Cherie Bubbles get in. That's what I was going to say. I was saying, okay, but even if people date younger and like, like, like I was saying, when they, when they need to take time to get their stuff together and then go back, okay. then try it again later on in life okay so. i understand that but some people say that wrong person at the right time they never come back to the right person so therefore that wasn't the right person mm-hmm. because you would come back to them like you would find a way died. back together well i don't know <laughs> <laughs> who did i did die you know your right person died like, that's not that's the same girl. that's not the same She's but the right like person i don't know because now you're like confusing my brain and everything right like... Um, but talking it in, talking about it in a sense where it's like you don't come back together. Mm-hmm. I don't believe there is a wrong time. We're not talking about people that are like under, like not of age and stuff. Mm. We're talking about people that are like met that person and you're like, oh, it's so, I don't know, I don't know. Because I don't I'm thinking about, I always, because you know, me and my I was trying to point. argue this point, but I literally can't. I don't exactly, know. Exactly, because I'm just like, um, I always think about like, I always think about the worst thing that can happen first, or like the the circumstances that things would not work out first, which is not a great thing, not a great trait. But um, but even if like for us, the things that have made it easier for us to even be in this relationship has been our family, our family, and like everyone around us kind of like accepting that, and like us being able to bring and interact and kind of intertwine our lives together. But if 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 anyone else in our life made that difficult, it it would be difficult being together. And but I mean, would obviously, you guys leave me? No, uh, no. So what's the point you trying to make? If you let me finish it, maybe you'll see. <laughs> Go on then. So I'm like, yeah, even it's imagine, not imagine if, but if you like really did take um, care about what other people thought about, like what your family thought about your partner. If your par- if your family were telling you that, like, oh, I don't, I really don't see this for you. You know, I don't really see this for you, and you like took that into like. You took that into into, uh, into consideration. Into consideration. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it, it can be either way, and obviously, I do see mine's point where it's like, it's how is it the right person if you guys never find the right time? But sometimes, I mean, sometimes destiny be getting fucked up by shit, bro. Sometimes I just things don't understand how there can be a wrong time to be with the right person. Cause me, I'm gonna be with that person. Like, I don't understand. But it may not be a good what time. What could it be? Yeah, I right. mean, the only thing... Yeah, it might not be a good time, but you just would get past that time. Why can't you be with that person? I mean, I don't know. Because I do see the point of, like, being too young. And you might want to explore more. But then, it's not the right person, wrong time. You have just decided to, like, explore more and then come back together. You have decided yeah. to come back together. You've decided that right now you guys are not the right people for each other at this time. You see, how watching? is it the right person? If because you, you go that back you're not the right person at you this decide? time. Because o- overall in life, you still might be the right person. Because after you're done exploring, you're gonna go back to that person, like you said. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you think in the Do comments. Do you thought? But yeah, I don't really know. Yeah. Um, because I just think if you're like, if it was the right person, and you would be able to like. Work through, it. work through stuff and grow together. What if it's not something you can? Work? What if it's like mental health, something that you genuinely have no control over? Like you, you can't control like what you put in your body and stuff like that, but you cannot control the, the your brain chemistry. Why will that person stand by your side and be with you whilst you get the help for that? It's easier said than done. 
it is but then then that's not the right person they're not willing to deal with the hardships of you i don't know but i mean I, i'm not saying in a way of like I'm, this is always a center but because like, we can't speak for i don't know a relationship a situation that actually exists but say if like the person say if the person without the mental health issues was also not in a place to deal with dating someone that had a mental health issues but still loved them down still wanted to be with you but couldn't because i don't know say if their financial situation wasn't right and they had to take care of a parent or something like that they had someone else in their life to take care of or something else taking up all their time and energy and trying to like trying to focus on not being homeless and now that now they're like oh my god i met this person that's so wonderful but they're also mentally ill and i still love you i don't i don't not love you for that but i also cannot deal with you being mentally ill on top of me being fucking broke oh my god you're making my head hurt okay i get it i don't i have no more argument in me to be honest that was like a very short debate because i can't the way you've explained it there are a lot of circumstances that you, like there are a lot of circumstances that you won't be ready for and I feel like even with us like when we were saying that we weren't necessarily ready but we were when we got into this shit we were ready we were ready to say were we? yeah I come out to my parents yes and I said I was looking for someone to love I said the only person I can really see myself being with now is a black woman because the only person who can understand me on all levels it's because I wanted to at a point further on I was like this is a bit much you know this is a bit intense this is all just, just, just see for a good time, a long time, you know what I mean? Um, but I think even that is just like nerves of worrying if like, because it is scary even if you find the right person at the right time, you're like, do I deserve this? This is too good to be true. Someone set me up. Some ain't right. Some ain't right. <laughs> so, yeah, you made a good point. I feel like there's not much I can, else I can say on the topic. I guess you can meet the right person at the wrong time. Although I would, I would suggest that you try and make it work with, at that time because it's not guaranteed that they're gonna come back to you. Mm -hmm. And if you really believe that is the right person, you can't waste time yeah. because time isn't is like it's what's friend to no man. Is that the word? But yeah, I think that's the. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you have any else? Well, no, I feel like that could be in the video camera. Right? I mean, so yeah. Maybe, we did better this time, the guys. Bro, and I feel tipsy. Um, but yeah, like, leave some thoughts and opinions in the comments because I want to hear, like, other people's opinions on this stuff. Let us know what you think of right person, wrong time. Let us know if you feel less than in your queer relationship. And let us know what you want to see next. More of, and we're also probably going to be doing a, was it, ooh, the bit of you had to drink the drink. Oh yeah, and if you want it, we were thinking about doing a little cheaper drink, so answer yeah. some, ask, ask us some questions in the comments. Mm -hmm. And guys, we will try and be more um, consistent. consistent, but obviously with There's a lot moving going on. country and planning a wedding, we're very busy and very <laughs> overwhelmed and both work full time, so it is kind of hard, we just kind of give you what we can. Plus, we never have any stories on our phones. So, if you knew the struggle of trying to get videos uploaded, <laughs> if you know, it's a struggle for real. Struggle. But yeah, we are going to try and be more consistent and we're going to try and give you more wedding content. That's, oh, yeah, that's not you, what you want to see. We have stuff coming. But yeah, let us know like, what, what kind of wedding content you want to see. Like, we do have some like clips, like stuff of us like, going mm. along the process and we're going to like. Put that into like some sort of video for y'all. Um, but yeah, yeah. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.